So lesson one was on the pivot. Today we're going to go into lesson two and we're going to learn how this can transform your golf swing. Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Bozza here. So we are into lesson number two of my indoor series. So I know a lot of you are struggling to get out and practice. Um, I'm giving drills that can help you build a golf swing that not only will work out on the course, conceptually you can really get some nice strong feels for how your swing should be working. And today we are kind of moving on from the pivot. So lesson one was about the backswing and we're moving on to how the body moves in the rest of the swing. And I like to think of it as the infinity move. So you don't necessarily have to draw onto a piece of paper, but if it helps and you're quite a visual person, it can be quite a nice thing to have. So this is what I've done. I'm going to put it in between my feet. So I'm talking about what you should be doing conceptually. So I think sometimes the club golfer simplifies the swing a little too much and in simplifying it makes it not work. So what I mean by that is they think of it as you turn back, you turn through. And what happens is it creates a swing that doesn't really deliver the club correctly. So I wish it was that simple, but unfortunately it's not. So this is why I like this infinity idea. So what it means is this, so cross your arms and we turn back and we do what we did in the first lesson, the pivot. So um, I gave you a few ideas on how you can make that work for you. So we turn back. The next move, and this is the bit that I see too many people miss out, is we shift and we're going to feel pressure kind of on our right heel, so our trail heel, and the toes of our lead foot, so in the right handed golfer in your left foot. Um, it happens a little diagonally, so this is where this infinity loop works. So we turn back, we kind of get this diagonal bit, and you'll see how that starts to load into the left side, and then we turn all the way through. So thinking of the swing as just a turn back, turn through, misses that shift component. It's that shift component, so if I look here, I turn back, I shift, that's what starts to get the arms tracking on more of that inside pan, or getting onto the desirable plane in which you wanna deliver the golf club. So the turn back, I have to get this bit. You'll notice I don't start leaning back as I go there. To, to the point, it almost looks like I start to go down a bit. You know, when I'm doing this slowly, so I turn back, you see I'm, I'm happy to feel like I go down a little bit, and then I feel like I explode through. So that's a great way to not only have the club start to work for you, positive, like powerful moves actually start making the club track better. So more powerful shots will actually lead to more consistent, more accurate shots as well. And I think everybody watching at home wouldn't have any arguments if they could create that. So this infinity move, we turn back, feel the pressure. Don't rush this bit. So the nice thing about doing drills inside is you can start to really get the sensation of what the body feels like when it's there, how it feels in the feet and even close your eyes, really get a sensation of what it's like, and then power through. Once you're getting more comfortable, as soon as you feel like you can do that powerful move, you do it. So I turn back, feel the pressure, and off I go. But don't rush into doing it really quick. Um, I, used to, um, I used to do karate, so uh, a lot of martial arts, they actually do things really, really slowly. So I went in there wanting to throw all of these crazy punches and they had us doing everything really, really slowly. And they work under the theory, if you can't do it really slowly, how are you going to do it really fast? So again, if you're not hitting balls, um, I would rather you did it slowly, got the sensations for what it feels like. So then when you start actually hitting balls, you've trained your body to know what to expect. It means your body, maybe even on more of a subconscious level, is going to be able 
to start figuring a lot of this stuff out so on the golf course you don't have to. So that is lesson two. So again we've stuck with the body, we've talked about turn on the way back, this is more of that transitional component so you can then make a really positive swing that creates great contact and creates a great dispersion. So I hope that's helped. Uh, get some comments down below. Do you have any questions on this? Or do you have any other questions on the golf swing? Because I am happy to help. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you soon.